February 1st. So this means that it is the 32nd day of 2024. <laughs> and I don't know that I'm going to keep doing that. I just, I just like doing it in January. But anyway, first day of February, it's 28 degrees and it's supposed to warm up today to the 60s. So we're going to be in a warm spell again. And you know, all that's fine and dandy. It's just that the trees are starting to bud. And so therefore my allergies are really starting to act up. I'm sneezing constantly at work from people opening the door. And of course my nose is running more. So that means if my throat starts going, which it seems like it already is, that's why. And I haven't filmed much this week. I've been, I don't know, I've just had things on my mind. I always start thinking about my hair. Wow, gas went up. Again, sit again. Why? Tell me why. Why? They're not switching over yet. What is the deal? <laughs> I just noticed that. Anyway. So. Now I don't even know what I was going to say. <laughs> I'm using the City Beauty Gloss. This is Tinseltown, I believe. And I don't know if these are in stock. I think they're reformulating everything, to be honest. But. I don't know that for sure. I know they are some things, but I, they may be doing the lips too. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> that was over Maybelline Superstay 24 hour whatever in Lover. Lover? Yeah, Lover. So, what I was going to say was my hair. You know, I go tomorrow to get my hair done, and anytime I am going to get my hair done, I start thinking, should I cut it all off? Should I do this? Should I do that? And I've been leaning toward having some pink streaks put in it because in the AI pictures, I like that look, but I don't know that it would look right in real life. And I'm going to see if she can't put like three or four and just go from there. Not nothing major. And I, I probably am, am going to go blonder because I would have to to make it look like those AI pictures I've been doing and we'll talk a little bit about the AI pictures and I know I mentioned that one time before that they do give me some encouragement to do better I think that went down the drain the other day for some reason I've been eating way too much this week I don't know why I've got to stop y'all I really do and I know I've said that so many times but I really got to stop you know, I am gonna be I don't you know Dave is losing weight he's on the O <laughs> and I mean I do have never thought Dave was considered obese I thought he just carried his weight in his stomach like a lot of men do but I saw his records and it says he's obese so for whatever reason because his sugar wasn't staying where she wanted it and of course I know that if he would do what I have asked him to do, but that is easier said than done, that he might not even need any of that. But anyway, she put him on the O, the O injection. I don't want to get this video tagged for any reason. I mean, I'm not monetized, but that shouldn't be a matter. But anyway, I just don't want, I don't, but anyway, so he is losing weight. And he's honestly, if he's having trouble with it, he's not told me. I ask him every day is he okay yeah now that's the beginning I think he was feeling very tired and I don't know if that's part of it and it could have been it was just the way it was but I could tell definitely last weekend that belly is going down so it just makes me want it even more but you know and I mean he says he has to make himself eat and I mean, that's what I want, is I want something that's going to make myself eat. I mean, make myself not want to eat. Because right now, all I want to do is eat. Eat, eat, eat. Yesterday, I kept thinking, God, I want something to snack on before I left work. 
and I thought, I can't do it, Vicki. You can't do it. You can't keep doing this. So I went and made me some coffee. So I guess that's just what I'm going to have to start doing again. And that's what I used to do was I would make me coffee in the afternoon. And actually, it makes me feel better. You know, I don't do energy drinks or anything like that. So it just makes me feel better. It's not anything strong, but it does take away that craving for something. So I've got to start doing that again because, you know, I look at my face and it looks awful. I mean, it's so swollen just from eating too much. And I've got to go. I can't stay out here long. One thing I wanted to mention, makeup wise, and it's a little glowy. So I don't know what it's going to look like after a while, but anyway of course this is the covergirl essence and i don't know if it's gonna focus there it goes that's the covergirl simply ages skin perfection skin perfector essence with bakachul now i have seen people talk about bakachul and i don't like to i mean i don't like to talk about other mature ladies and i'm not talking about her but i saw in the comment comments people saying that this is better than retinol. It's not better than retinol or retin-A, any of that. And from what I understand, your body goes through so, would have to go through so many stages to turn this into vitamin A for your skin that I don't see how it could do it at our age. So I don't know why people are taught. I mean, I know it has some benefits, but as far as being a, a vitamin A benefit, no, and don't think that. It's a marketing ploy. <laughs> okay, and of course the other one I have is the Jane Iredell Hydra Pure. Okay, that's what that looks like. Okay, they are similar, but they're not anything alike when you get them on your face. This cover girl gave me no coverage whatsoever, and it dried into my lines and just made me look I feel like 10 years older this now I put two layers on it I rub it in my hands and then I just apply it that way I don't use a brush or sponge or anything and then I did set it with the mineral powder and I'm just gonna say mineral powder because the one I got you can't get no more and that's what I've got on and I think it looks great like I said, it's a little glowy right now, but that's all right. We'll wait and see how it wears the rest of the day. Last year, I set this with, I think, the Laura Geller, and I didn't feel like hunting it out. And so that's why I use that mineral powder, because that's what I got. And I want to see if that's one I want to use in the summer with it is the mineral powder. But to me, I know this is 20 bucks or a little less, depending on where you get it. This is 58. I still say, even with the bucket jewel, that this is worth the difference in price for my skin. Because after you wear this a few weeks, you notice your skin looking, looking better. You know, I just get in spells where I want to try something new, where I want to, to use full foundation. You know, it's just me because I like to play with makeup. But if I could only have this, that's what I'd have in the summertime. Now in the wintertime, I would have something else. But summertime, this is all I would have. Of course, this is supposed to have some sunscreen in it, but I would never use it as sunscreen. And of course, the Jane Iredell does not. And that's fine. Now this has hyaluronic acid and CoQ10. So it's got skincare ingredients. And as I said before, I, I just don't think there's any comparison. I don't care if this one is more expensive. But y'all do you and I do me. <laughs> I got that from somebody else, but anyway. Anyway, I gotta go. I gotta go work. Talk to y'all later. Love you. Bye.